Tanya, it's good to have you once again as a speaker. And uh, Tanya will be presenting a joint, uh, the outcome of a joint initiative by University of Pretoria, Bread for the World, and Humboldt University uh, that is leading to the development of learning materials for religious communities in Southern Africa on ecological sustainability. Um, Tanya, we look forward to your presentation. We're excited that you are here, that you're presenting this. Um, yeah, the floor is yours. We can take about 20 minutes, perhaps a little bit less, um, because we are running a little bit late, but uh, if we take 20 minutes, I think that will be fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to share my screen in a moment, but I don't think I'll take up the full 20 minutes. So I'm also going to switch off my camera because um, load shedding has just started in my region. So I don't want to mix up the bandwidth and you need to hear my voice. You don't have to see my face. So I'm going to share my screen now. And then um, once again, I, I won't be able to see or hear any of you. So if there are comments or chats or anything, please use the modes that Philip has suggested and the rest of the colleagues. However, this is actually more uh, of a, a presentation and introduction, a launch, really. So uh, if once I start sharing, if Philip, you can just let me know when you can see it. Can you see that? Yes. Great. OK, so um, yeah, I won't be speaking for 20 minutes. Um, I just really want to thank all of the, the rest of the team, which I will introduce to you by the end of this uh, small presentation. Just to give you an idea, everyone that's been listening in um, about uh, what we have done in the past year and how this originated, and we are really uh, excited to launch what we are calling the Green TLC, the Green Teaching Learning Community, and I will say more about that as we go along. So how did this originate? You see there on the right-hand side, um, more or less last year this time, when the world was a totally different place than it is now, we could come together at our university. This is really near our faculty, and we could take this picture right at the end of our conference, where you see there in October 29, the International Conference on Churches in Southern Africa as Civil Society Actors for Ecological Sustainability. And um, this was a wonderful conference. It took, um, uh, we, we were together quite a few days and we had a lot of different sessions during which we made notes, much of like what we did there today, because today, of course, is a follow-up conference and a webinar to that uh, session. So what we did during that conference, we would come together in a lot of groups and we would make notes, we would set agenda points. And the whole idea was, to start creating learning materials. And I'll say more about that now. So what happened was during this conference, just before and during and after, we established like a reference group, which is more or less just a team to take the insights and the notes and the ideas of all the participants and try and configure this in some sort of, we first thought like almost like a type of a textbook, a manual um, to, to, to use as like teaching materials. In the beginning, we also thought about maybe using um, uh, the, the information to write academic articles. But in some of our conversations, we didn't immediately think about going that route. But what happened was after that, we established a reference group, which um, in the beginning was only known as the Pretoria Reference Group. And of course, although it took place in our university, it's in collaboration, as Philip has said, with so many people. I've got the the, the um, three, um, the other two partners at the bottom, but even the participation grew because a part of our team are important members from the rest of the continents of Africa and our colleagues in, in Germany. And now we've got another uh, uh, colleagues, more of them um, uh, uh, in South Africa from SAFSI. So it really grew. And we thought, well, we have, we have to get like a different name for what we are busy doing, uh, a connected identity. And what is this reference group's main purpose? It's just basically to help organize the taking of hands, different communities um, and, and different religions to create resources and action plans for addressing ecological challenges. That is our main um, idea of creating this. Now, as we went along, we went through a lot of different discussions in terms of what those resources would look like and what those action plans would look like. 
But that is the main purpose of what we started out with. So let's continue. So there you have on the right hand side a little bit of pictures that I still have left from last year. Um, I had some on my phone, which I could easily just send to my laptop when I made this presentation. Um, and most of it's on my uh, saved in a different folder now. But there you can see that we started making notes, for example, of, you know, agenda points, discussion points, which needs to be worked on further, much like we did today in our working groups. There you can just see someone wrote, for example, problematizing development and what is the focus on scripture and uh, how do we think in terms of prosperity as a critical concept? Do we think in, in terms of stewardship? This is a very small example of the many discussions that took place and that we try to like disseminate and summarize. So the discussion and the development of the format of the reference group was one of our main concerns as well. A teaching community for who do we develop these learning materials that we want? Um, what format will the learning materials take? Will it be uh, argumentative essays? Will some of it be um, academic articles? And maybe some of it should be a liturgy. Maybe some of it should be narratives. Maybe some of it should be resources for when someone wants to get a group of activists together or working together to work towards change. You know, what type of, because there were so many inputs from our conference. And so um after this um year came and um our life all of our lives changed very dramatically um we took a bit of time discussing all of these things and we thought about what language should we publish this in so that took quite a bit of time but i'm very happy to say that after a while um we were able to um uh, um, convince, and we are very happy that they are helping us, that South Sea is uh, providing um, us an interface and resources, and a lot of people from their team has recently joined us, for which we are very grateful, and we will be using aspects of their uh, websites, so I can't make the full um, learning resource material, I can't uh, make that available because it's still a work in progress, but I wanted to share something of the growth and maybe some of you that are listening, when I put up the team members' names in the end, to maybe invite you to write to us if you've got ideas in, in with regard to that. But this is very much the culmination after a year's working um, in terms of um, getting together, getting the using the information that we got from the conference last year, and and putting that in in a in a, in a source in a format that is really usable for communities, but not reinventing the wheel all over again, because we know there are a lot of initiatives taking place and a lot of wonderful things happening already. So it's also about finding out all of these things and connecting them to this resource manual that we um, are going to set up eventually and um, looking at different channels for communication. And this is all focused on how churches can be actors in uh, ecological sustainability. This is the main focus, and this is why it's about taking hands between a lot of different communities and seeing how we can get from there. So after all of this discussion, last year's conference, the reference group, um, moving to uh, a different idea for this learning material format, getting a lot of inputs from different people, getting SAFSE on board, um, getting Pomuzo on board, we're going to say more about her in a while. After all of this uh, has taken place, which I'm very happy that it did move forward, that it didn't stall in some way, the result is the following. We have started working on a new identity and a community for ongoing work. And this is basically a very exciting moment because we are launching today the idea of our resource manual and our reference manual, but we are also launching the whole idea of what we have decided from now on. We are not more, not anymore the Pretoria Reference Group, but we are the Green TLC, the Green Teaching and Learning Community, which is our core identity and which should be the name of our ongoing projects and will be the way that we are designated and the manual would be designated and described. And now I'm going to give you three possible logos that we are still working on. Maybe some of you have got interesting inputs in terms of our logo. We are still in the development uh, process of developing that. But here we go, people, and this is really exciting for me. So 
this is us. We are the Green TLC Teaching Learning Community, or maybe we all will be looking like that, or maybe we will be looking like that. So this, whatever our logo is in the end, we will let you know, and you will look out for this logo. And when you see this logo, you now know what we are standing for, what we are trying to do. And it's about really taking hands uh, across disciplines and across communities to get resources to people. Um, because as we've heard this morning from our keynote speaker and subsequent people that this is something that's not going to go away. And the only way we are going to get through this and make a difference is if we work together. So I think that is basically um, the exciting part for me. This is more or less how some of it will be looking. Um, our, um, our, I don't want to call her an administrator because she's sort of a manager as well, Pumuto. Um, you will see her name shortly. She has worked very hard to work uh, to get a lot of the information that we got from last year's conference and from our subsequent meetings into a type of a format which we are still working on. But this is one of the preliminary pages in terms of looking at what we eventually will do. Uh, there you can see this, for example, uh, ecological challenges, challenges faced by church leaders, get inspired success stories. And within this type of, of manual, we will have uh, liturgies posted there. We will have links to resources. We will have a little bit of background about what our mission and our goal is. And hopefully we can just go from there. So finally, please let me introduce to you our main team members of our Green TLC community, which is like a sort of an organizational team. Of course, there are a lot of other people behind the scenes as well, but let me please just introduce these few people, which I'm very honored to work with. And it's me from the Pretoria side, and I'm keeping sort of a watchful eye over this, although most of the work is done by uh, people that are much more talented than I am. There we go, Pamuta Mufamadi. We are very privileged that Pamuta has recently joined us, and she has done a lot of work. Kate Davies, and the, including the team members from SAFSI, we are very honored and privileged that you are on board and helping us in this. Noreen Masenu, um, I heard her speaking earlier, and um, we are very privileged to have her on the team as well. Um, Ju Juliana Stork, which most of you know, which um, also worked hard to keep this whole group going in a way. Um, Emmanuel Anonim. Um, which we are equally, I mean, I can just repeat all the time, uh, appreciating all the different perspectives, bringing to the team the context. Thomas Stefan from uh, Bread for the World, he has sat in, in many of our sessions uh, in terms of getting creative ideas together. And then some, um, Samuel Sifilani and then John Kachimu. Now, of course, people, there are a lot of other ones that are part of the team as well, but this is the sort of the core that has congregated together, working really hard. Um, if I um, by accident left someone out, I apologize in advance, but these are the people that I've been working with uh, the closest for the last year, getting this together. And there you can see at the bottom, I've added the two possible logos. Uh, there might be more. Um, but just to have like a picture that our green TLC is basically um, like the umbrella now and basically almost imagine someone giving someone else a hug, encircling them. Those are the two hands. We are the hands in trying to do um, and to affect and to get into practice all the things that we learn from these conferences and from our side, it's a real privilege. And I think that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking this opportunity and giving it for us to be able to launch this. And in the chat function, I will at least give my email address and I would be able to connect you to Pumuta and the other team members if you have got any presentations or suggestions. I thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tanya. Uh, now we are at the point again where we are missing the applause. Um, well, thank you very much for this uh, concise and, and excellent presentation. Also, as uh, one of the parties involved, I mean, one of the organizations involved in this initiative, but not directly involved, I find it extremely impressive, the stuff that you have done in this, what has come out of it and what is still coming out of 
this initiative, and it's really uh, quite quite a wonderful, uh, quite won wonderful for me also uh, on a personal level to be there for this launch uh, of this of this joint um, uh, joint project. Thank you very much.